This is the STB 100 vehicle wash, destined for Iraq. You can see the opening is 15 feet wide. The tank has a conveyor. What we'll do, we'll go through each item for easy assembly for the troops at Camp Taji. Here's the conveyor. There's the troughs. The hoses. Builder. It's the right item on there. There's three main components of the system. The tank, which goes in the ground first. The wash troughs go on top, and then the pump and motor go on. After everything's installed, the hoses get hooked up. Where you see the two valves for the hoses, the two valves go to the two top blasters on either side. That way they can be turned on or turned off. That's the pump and the motor. The pump drops down first. Put four bolts in the top of that. Then the motor sits on top of that with four bolts also. There's the filter, red filter, and then the manifold. And all the hoses hooked to that. Over on the far side here is the electric panel. motor lead, the two inch flexible conduit right there, will be mounting right into the back of the electric panel, as you can see right there. On the side there is mounted a transformer. That transformer is needed for the electricity for the conveyor. All lines will hook into that electric panel, the conveyor line which is right there, the motor cable which is right there, and the opti eyes. This is a side view showing how everything's assembled. Of course, the front view. Our sign on, and we thank our troops in Iraq for all you do. Stay in the systems. We're quite thankful for all of you guys. Work over there. Sacrifice. This is 
the conveyor controller. It has a speed switch, which is the dial, and then the toggle switch is on top there. The toggle switch is a forward reverse. It should always be forward. Uh, the reverse is only used if you want to back up the chain just a, a foot or two, that's it. The chain is not designed to run backwards. Side view of the conveyor. There's the motor, the gearbox, the coupling. The coupling has a white spider in it. It's a high trail spider. We'll be throwing a couple of them in a, in a spare parts box. And there's the chain. There's the chain and sprockets. Dirt, that's where the dirt's going to come up and kick out. Now we're actually up on top of the, the wash troughs themselves. They're six feet wide. The tire guides here. Check of tape. Side walls. Extra high. With two side blasters. Each side. 